Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 16 CRUD Tutorial Step-by-Step -step Guide. This is part 4 of the episode. In the first part we did the introduction and the demo of the application we are going to build. We are going to build a credit card admin portal. In the second episode we did the required prerequisites installation and the required setup of modules. In the third episode, we did the design of the basic template that we will need, which looks like this today, which is where we will build. We have a header, we have a sidebar and the main content area where we will display the data. <coughs> For that, to displaying data, we will need some components, modules, services and routing. That's what we are going to learn today how to generate. Again, I'm not editing any of this. It's live coding, which means I will run into errors that you will. Okay, and I'm not going to edit this and make you show greeny rosy kind of picture. We will code together. We will learn how to debug also. So what are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn how to generate module components, services. We'll also set up a lazy loading module. <coughs> we'll work with routes. We'll set up different types of routes, simple routes, child routes, wildcard, and then finally test the application, right? So that's the goal of today. Let's get started. <coughs> As always, if you have any doubts, any queries, uh, feel free to reach out to me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you. All right. OK, so this is our application. It looks like this. We have a source app. But unless you're building a very, very dead, simple single page application, your application will never look like this. It will have a lot of components. It will have a lot of modules. Modules are a way to organize the code into different particular related data. Right. One concept of that is lazy loading modules. By default, Angular modules are eagerly loading, which means all the modules will load as soon as the application is launched. However, loading all the modules in one go creates a lot of problems. For one, it will have performance optimization issues. Second, you will unnecessarily loading modules which you don't need and can expose security gap. That's why we have the concept of lazy loading. Through lazy loading, what we do is we only load as and when that is called or required. How do you do that? We write ng generate module, right? So if you see, uh, I am in the source folder top level and here I'm going to write ng generate m for module or you can also specify module then followed by the name of the module then hyphen hyphen route that's the way you are telling that what is the route of it and you set up credit cards that's the route we would give and then I'm going to say hyphen hyphen module which module it should refer to I'm saying app module when I say app module it will add it into the app routing okay so it says app module does not exist yes it does not exist because we have to be inside the app folder <coughs> Okay, we have to be inside the app folder to run this command. So now I'll run it. So now it created a lazy loading module for me by the name credit cards. It made an entry into app routing. Let's check that first. You can see here it has added a path credit cards and load children that added reference to the module. Okay, that's a lazy loading module added in app module. You will also see a folder created credit cards. Now, when you expand that, you would see a routing module, a module, a routing module and a basic base component. OK, now this doesn't do anything much, but we can test right away. And I'm going to type ng serve. Let's give it a minute to build. OK, so it's building. And then I'll go to the application and type credit cards and you can see here it says credit card works okay which means the path basic path that we set up here through lazy loading and if you go to lazy load you can see credit cards component that's what is getting referred you go to the HTML it says credit card works let's change it and I'll say displaying all credit cards and save it and you can see the same thing coming up here. OK, that means this path is working fine. OK, the base uh, lazy loading module path. But our job is not yet done. 
because we will need to generate some more components right angular module means our this is our module it will have its own routing it will have add credit card view credit card delete credit card edit credit card like all these are the components which are belonging to this module okay that's why we group the related functionality features under a module okay that was the little bit of theory for you now let's go ahead now we need to generate the components inside credit card so let's go ahead and I'm going to say ng generate C C stands for component or you can type component anything both are equivalent now where do you want to generate it inside credit cards I'm going to say add right so when I say add it will refer to the add credit cards and then we are also saying we have want to make an entry so you will say module now which module we want to make an entry in if you don't specify that it will make an entry in app module remember that so I'm going to say credit card slash cards dot module dot ts hit enter and it will create a new folder by the name add it's a new component same way repeat the process change the name of the component and make it view this will create one more component under credit cards by the name view repeat the process call it edit so we got the edit now last we will also need delete okay so now you have four components add delete edit view we will use this base component for displaying as a list okay list all or table where we want to do that all right again if you want to add more functionality right let's say we want to add search functionality or we want to add other functionality whatever you want right you can keep creating components accordingly all right so we got our module lazy loading module setup we got our components generated now I'll create a new folder and I'll call it services okay why we when we are working with different components different modules you will need to share data between these components and these modules etc and hence the concept of services services will help us make API calls communicate with HTTP and also communicate internally between data okay components so I'm going to say ng generate service under services I'm going to say credit cards okay now this is where uh, I want a new service okay that's the name of it so let's do that so now if you see under services a new file got generated by the name service we are not going to write any service today but just a placeholder so that we have all the required pieces together so now I have my module I have my components I have my services we need to work on the routes so let's go to credit card routing dot module this is where we will set up the routes for view edit delete and wildcard now there are multiple ways of doing this okay I will show you different ways again you that will maybe differ from application to application but I want to show you the best possible way okay so how do we do that so one way is you can set it up inside this particular route and you can create child routes okay ideally this is a correct way to go about but in remember the sequence of the route really matters okay so remember that one piece because a lot of uh, beginners or even experienced folks uh, will make this mistake so in this I'm going to say path okay so now you can say view slash ID now the only problem with using this approach is that you will have to define a router outlet in the parent okay so I want to avoid that for this tutorial so I'm not using this way but I showed you the way how to do it probably we'll do it as we go along I'll show you that also for now let's go ahead quickly and set up the other routes <coughs> so first view right and you're saying ID that means we'll pass an ID to 
the route and it will load a component and the name of the component is view component which is what we just generated here similarly we'll set a path for edit slash colon id component edit component similarly we'll set it a path for delete id and delete component okay so now we have the path set up for each of the route when i pass the view and pass id it will load view component it will load edit it will load delete as per the mapping okay finally we will also add a route say if i don't get any if i don't find any let's create a new component okay um, for this i'm going to write a generic one so i'm going to say ng generate component and i'm going to call it page not found okay and let's generate that component i am generating it at the app level now you see because it's a generic component that will be required for other modules also so that's why i'm using it here a component i'm going to say page not found component and i'm using it here <coughs> all right so all our routes are set up we have the base route we have the view edit delete and we have the page not found which will refer that being said i think we are good to test our application just to ng serve right let's bring up the application so first let's I'll cut it here localhost 4200 nothing shows which is what is expected when i put credit cards it says displaying all credit cards which is to this component and if you see the html it says displaying all credit cards working working as expected all right so this is working as expected now the next is view slash 10 now it says view works which is what this html is right for the view component so working as expected so you can see working as expected same way i am going to say edit edit works so edit is also working fine so the reason i'm writing working as expected is because you will see in real time that these are the components that we have created and it's working as expected and the data is properly showing that's the it's kind of a check that i put so working as expected finally add so add will not need any so now see that's the thing add we did not add the route correct so it went to page not found right which means page not found is working as expected so when there is no matching route it will go to page not found right you see here page not found works all right so now let's go ahead add the route for add copy that and i'll say add and here i'll say component add add component okay so now add works and new credit card so add new credit card all right so i think all our component module services routing everything is in place we tested it looks good so far i hope you are able to achieve till here without any issues there is still a lot of work uh, in terms of putting the content properly in a card making it look beautiful that's what we are going to start doing it in the next episode so in the next episode we will build a first our angular mat table which where we will display all the credit cards pagination sorting uh, table lot of work there so we are going to build that from scratch again no editing live coding for you all right i hope you are enjoying this series i am putting a lot of effort i hope you like it i hope you learn from it that's my end goal 
Thank you so much for joining in this episode. Let's continue building this application. Join me in the next episode.